Matthew Williamson for a preview of his spring summer collection. Um, Matthew's a really well established London Fashion Week designer. He's known for his use of colour and print, so we're going to see what he's got in store for us this season. So, yeah, we're working on the next collection, Spring Summer 12, and it's an exciting show for us because we're showing at the Tate Modern. The collection itself is pulling together all the strengths of our brand, all the sort of signature elements that you would expect. So there's amazing sort of hot house colours and effortless silhouettes and it's kind of loosely based around Japan and looking at the um, forms of um, Japanese pattern cutting that's kind of informed some of the shapes or it's also informed the the textiles and the print. It's a very subtle influence it's not necessarily something that I imagine the audience will assume it does just sort of come through in, in the print more than anything else. Tell me about the first look, what's it going to be? Well, so far we're looking at showing this as the first look, which is a printed silk crepe shirt and matching shorts. And the print is kind of like, originally it was a, a blossom, like a Japanese blossom. Oh. And we've kind of computer generated the print and blurred the floral so it becomes more like an ikat. Um, and I'm really liking these top to toe print looks at the moment. This is how the collection will flow in terms of colour. It goes from this sort of coral and rust hot house palette, gets slightly more sort of urban with the khakis and the black and whites and I guess a more sort of daytime offer here. And what about the kind of the detailing? Because this looks like it's a lot of work has gone into this. And yeah, I've just touched it and said the daytime offer and realised that it's far from daytime. <laughs> <laughs> this is um, all hand beaded and it's got these little semi-precious stones and, and the design of this is actually taken from the design on this woven fabric, this ikat. It's the same thing beaded. And we get this sort of mustard colour. And this dress is like a silk organza, a really simple shift shape. But then it's been beautifully hand cut and then edged in the little beads all the way around. So it's a pretty labour intensive piece. And then these are ostrich feathers. Um, what kind of percentage of this show collection is going to go into production? Like all of it. All of it. Yeah, I mean, this the show itself is probably maybe a third of the full collection. What we have on that side of the room is all the pieces that I've edited out that are still, you know, the, the, the two sides make one collection, but this is my edit for the show. It finishes off with more of the same technique, more of these sort of couture dresses. It's lovely, that colour. It's the same colours that I picked up from the start of the collection. Exactly. Okay. So it's kind of like this... Um, take on the sunset if you like if you were looking at the holes that's how I've worked the palette out that it's the sun kind of doing its thing so the shoes are a collaboration I did with Charlotte Olympia and the brief to her was let's make the shoes look like the 50% you and 50% me <laughs> so she's done an amazing job at sort of picking up the textiles from the collection and then we've played with these odd color blocks and these great Perspex heels. As you know, it's such an iconic space and it's the turbine hall that the show will happen in. So I really like the thought of contrasting the collection with that space. We're gonna create a, quite an intimate space, so although you will be in that turbine hall, this, the set itself is quite intimate. I get more nervous each time. I think this is show number 29. Um, and yeah, the nerves don't get any less. I have one glass of champagne before a show and a lot more glasses after a show. That tends to see me through. <laughs> So 
that's it, the show's over. Matthew must be hugely relieved. His casting really worked out in the end because he, he used the model Anya Rubik, who's quite a big international model. And I think her walking in the clothes really kind of took it to an, a next level of glamour that really works with Matthew's collection. He's the first designer to show here, but I'm sure he won't be the last. Thank you.